Tatiana. How are you today, Sophia? Nice to meet you. I'm doing well. Yeah, pretty <laughs> boring like every other day, but it's it's been nice. Yeah. How's quarantine been treating you? It's been good. I mean, I haven't been able to be with my whole family for a really long time because I'm always traveling. So it's been really nice to just relax with them and spend time with them, yeah. um, especially since my sister's about to go off to college. So it's like okay. this time, it's like I'm savoring it because I know I'm not going to have much longer. So it's Yeah. Fun. What school is your sister going to? Um, she's going to Georgetown University, which nice. is so far away. And she's <laughs> so excited to leave me, and I'm so yeah. upset about it. But I'm going to visit her as much as possible, and hopefully she'll come back um, to Arizona or visit me in Utah when we're filming. We'll try to see each other as much as possible. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll mm -hmm. be exciting. Okay, so I'm super excited to talk to you today because I am a high school musical stan. I love high school musical. <laughs> um, but before we jump into all of that, excitingness I want to you know talk to you about how you got started in acting and uh the journey to where you are today um I know you got started in dance originally um so tell me a little bit about that and then how you made that transition into acting yeah um well I of course always loved performing ever since I was little that was always my thing and I kind of hopped around with different things for a while when I was little and then eventually once I found dance I was like this is the thing I'm going to do for the rest of my life I loved it so much my passion for it was just crazy and I that was all I thought about yeah. um, and eventually once I started going to LA I saw that there was so much more that I could do than just be a dancer. I didn't have to put myself in a little box. Mm -hmm. And eventually I started going out to little auditions for commercials and um, tiny recurring roles. And it just kept building, getting bigger, the more mm -hmm. I was um, getting more experienced. And eventually I booked Andy Mack. And that was, yeah, <laughs> that was like the top for me. I thought this was like the farthest I could get. It was so exciting and um, best three years of my life. Mm -hmm. And from that point, I just knew that I really wanted to keep growing in, in acting, but also keep growing in other parts of my life, keep growing in dancing and also singing as well. So mm -hmm. it's been so much fun and I love it. And I couldn't have done it without my family because I'm originally from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, really? um, so it wasn't always easy yeah, to go out to LA but my my mom and dad dropped everything for my sister and I and um, allow us to live our passion. So it's it's been a crazy few years, but I've loved every second of it. So when would you say you made that um, official transition to like, OK, we're we're going to L.A. This is what we're going to try to do. Yeah, um, it was actually I think the first time I really got a taste of L.A. was um, my dance studio, Diverse Elements. We they had this annual spring break trip to L.A. First time ever going to L.A. taking classes. And I just knew in that moment, I was like, I have to keep doing this because it's just a completely different world. You can learn so much in Arizona and, and the dance industry out here is amazing. Mm -hmm. But there's just a completely different world out in L.A. And from that point, I, I, my dad and I were like, we got to keep doing this. And I think um, we just almost came out to L.A. every other weekend, which was hard. And it was a big yeah. transition. But um but I knew from that second that I wanted my life to be dedicated to the arts and performing. Mm -hmm. So moving into, you know, we, you, like you said, you had Andy Mack, which was huge. And then before that you had like some smaller appearances on like Ricky, Dickie and Don. So you were familiar with Disney when you heard about high school musical, uh, the series, were you already a fan of High School Musical? Had you seen all the movies and everything? Yes, just like you, I'm a huge <laughs> High School Musical stan. Okay. Um, growing up, my sister and I just watched the movies probably a million times. So when I heard that they're making a series, I was like, please let me be a part of this. I wanted to be part of it so badly. And I had heard of, of High School Musical reboots happening, right. um, but I, I was always too young for it. So since I was just starting high school, I was like, I'm the perfect age <laughs> and everything worked out perfectly. And it was just so, so amazing when I found out I booked mm -hmm. it. So what was your favorite um, High School Musical from the original three? Oh my gosh, I think it'd have to be High School Musical 2, but all of them are so, so good. I just yeah. love all the music within the second one. Um, mm -hmm. Some of my favorites were from that, like Bet, Bet On It and Fabulous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're all so, so good. I can they're watch them like at the age I am now and still enjoy it just <laughs> as much. 
Yeah, I feel like everybody really has like a special place in their heart for the second one because it didn't take place at school. It was like over yeah. the summer. So that made it more fun and more mm -hmm. exciting. Who was your favorite character um, from the original ones growing up? Sharpay. I was such a sassy little girl growing up. <laughs> and so she just, we connected instantly when I saw her. And I just loved pink. And I loved how she loved pink. Mm -hmm. And she was so fashion. And um, I just loved everything about her. So I was definitely a Sharpay fan growing up. Yeah. So when you, um, what was the audition process like for High School Musical, uh, the series? Because I imagine it was, you know, singing and dancing and acting. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, making sure that you guys can, that you connect with your other cast members. What was it? So what was the audition process like for that? Yeah, um, it was, it was really interesting because when I usually going to audition for Disney, it was so terrifying because there's all these executives and I was so nervous because I was so new when I was auditioning for Andy Mack, at least. Mm -hmm. And then auditioning for High School Musical, I, I knew so many people. And when I'd walk into the building, I knew the security and I was like, hey, what's <laughs> up? And it was so weird. And I was still just as nervous, though. I, I knew people and I was more comfortable, but the nerves were still there. And um, walking to, I first sent in a self-tape because I was still in Utah filming Andy Mack um, yeah. and so I sent in a self-tape and then they really liked it so one of the breaks that I had from filming I flew it to LA um, and I think I think my first audition in front of them was with Olivia Rodrigo who plays me oh awesome um, yeah so I got to go straight to the chemistry read which was really nice because usually there's so many different rounds that you have to go mm -hmm. through um, and from that point, I was really, I felt really good about it. But of course, like, whenever I leave an audition room, I'm like, just forget about it. Don't freak out if you don't get it. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Um, and then there's this long period of time that they just, they, I was just waiting to hear. And I was uh, freaking out about it, of course, because I really, really wanted to book it. Right. Um, but eventually we heard um, and I screamed, I cried, I called my <laughs> mom, I called my sister, I was so excited. And um, I was just really excited also to be back in Utah and filming with the same film crew because I've practically grown up with them. So mm -hmm. I knew that it was going to be a great way to continue growing with the same people that I've been with for a while. Yeah, that was actually going to be my next question, how you felt like when you got the call that you actually got it and knowing that you were screaming and crying and like everything is so great. Yeah. What's it like um, shooting in Utah? Like I, I feel like I have no concept of what Utah is like. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the same for a lot of people, especially for us. We were like, when we heard we were going to film in Utah for Andy Mack, we were like, why? Like, yeah. why not LA or maybe <laughs> even Canada? Like somewhere that like you think of film when you think of that place and Utah just wasn't that. But going out to Utah, it was so beautiful. The people were so welcoming. They actually have a huge dance community, which I was really surprised by. But I loved that because I was able to continue growing in dance and training, um, even while I was focusing on acting. And um, it's it's weird. It's I mean, it's small and, and there's there's not a lot of things you can do, but I think it also really helps um, or help the cast that I've been with, whether that was for Andy Mac or now for High School Musical, it really has helped us bond a lot because we're not in our regular place where we're with our friends and our family we only have each other so right. whenever we're all, not filming the only thing we can do is be with each other so it's it's really nice to bond and get to know each other better in a short amount of time yeah so you guys have built like your own little family which is yes exactly so and we have our places we eat and mm -hmm. like it's just like the same little routine but it's really really sweet and nice mm -hmm. so much like the first, you know, three movies, the series has become like a phenomenon, like the fans are loving it. They're obsessed with it. What are some of your favorite episodes that you got to film or some of your favorite scenes that you enjoy filming on the show? Yeah, um, of course, I think my three favorites would be the first episode, um, the homecoming episode, which I think was episode four mm -hmm. in the finale. Um, yeah. The homecoming episode was just so much fun because 
I've never been able to experience a homecoming. Really? Um, I've been, yeah, I've been oh. homeschooled. I know, is that so bad? <laughs> um, I've been homeschooled for most of my life. So being on the show has really felt like my high school experience. Oh, um, awesome. And I, of course, it was more than I probably ever would have experienced at homecoming. I got to mm -hmm. pour punch on somebody's head and, yeah. uh, and I was <laughs> like in this super sparkly dress. Um, but it was really, really fun. And the first episode was so, so amazing as well. I was just over the moon shooting it because it was everything I could have dreamt up and more um, and being this new character. And, and all of, I remember the, all the crew that I've been working with for the past three years, they were so shocked because I was this mean girl. And I for know. the past three years, I've been like the best supportive best friend. Mm -hmm. um, so it was really, really funny, but it was, um, it was an amazing adjustment. And the last episode, I, I just, I cried the whole time. I was like, I don't want to leave. <laughs> um, and we all had high hopes for season two, but you mm -hmm. just never know. Um, but the fan response of the show was so, so amazing and really reassuring that um, that people really connected to it and that we'd hopefully have a season two. And now yeah. we do. And it's I'm just so excited to get back to filming. Yeah, I had no doubts about season two after <laughs> I saw this. I was like, of course. <laughs> It was season two. But, Thank you. You know, I feel like there would be riots outside of the yes. office. If they didn't do it I would be rioting. I'd be at the front <laughs> head like, what is going on? I love filming. We have to go back. Yeah. So you are such a sweetheart. And Gina, you know, she she's obviously sweet, but she's definitely a mean girl. What is some advice that you would give to Gina on navigating friendships and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah, I would definitely um, tell her to open up a bit and that it's totally okay to be vulnerable. I know for me, at least, it, it can be difficult. You always want to protect yourself from potential hurt, especially if you felt that in the past. And she has such an interesting history with always moving around. I've never experienced that. Um, but my dad did growing up. He was actually a part of a military family where he was constantly moving around. And um, I know that can be so, so hard hearing from him, his experiences. Um, but I, I definitely think you you need to live your life as much as possible, even with the short amount of times you may have with people. Um, you have to, to love them as much as you can. And you can't close yourself off because life is so much better when you love and, and, and have people around you. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely say to her, just like, just open up, girl. You don't need to be so closed <laughs> off. Um, and also be yeah. a little sweeter. She's a little too competitive. But um, mm -hmm. but I love that competitive nature. I think a lot of us have that within us. And it's all right to be competitive. Just yeah. always making sure you're not stepping on anybody. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, is there a character that you would have would have wanted to play if you didn't have the opportunity to play Gina? Oh, my gosh. Um, of course, I love Nini and Ashlyn and Courtney, but I think I would love to play possibly like Carlos. <laughs> if I was a boy, I would love to play Carlos because yeah. or I'd love to just be Frankie who plays Carlos. He's mm -hmm. the funniest human being on this earth. And if I could have his wit, I would just go around saying jokes over and over and over. Um, but yeah, he's, he's such an amazing person, but also his character is so amazing. I love Carlos. And I think he's um, a great representation for a lot of people to just be who they are. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. Um, okay, so your fans, they sent me a bunch of questions <laughs> that they were like, please ask Sophia or <laughs> We will write. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to ask you a few questions that they sent me. Um, they want to know who your greatest inspiration is. Um, I never know how to answer this question because I feel like there are so many people throughout my life who have inspired me. But mm -hmm. I think the all time people are my parents. They're my biggest inspirations, my sister as well. Um, because they just they love so much and they are so selfless and I I would die to be that type of person I don't know if I ever will be as great as they are but hopefully one day um, and then also just within the industry I mean people like actors like Will Smith and Denzel Washington I just think mm -hmm. Their projects, all of them I've ever watched are so amazing. And yeah. um, I don't know how anybody becomes that good at acting, but Seriously. hopefully one day I'll be that great. 
Yeah, I mean, starting on a show like High School Musical, you're well on your way, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you're so self-assured and so confident, um, especially, you know, being your, you're 16, right? Yes. Being 16, like you're so self-confident in who you are. How did you create that authenticity and confidence within yourself? Um, that is such a funny question because I, being 16, being a teenager, I constantly am doubting myself and I am insecure all the time. But, mm -hmm. um, but I definitely think that dancing and acting has helped me so, and just performing has helped my confidence so much. Um, going into my first dance class, I was this shy little girl who couldn't even order my own food and would constantly hide behind my parents. And I was just scared. And um, through dancing, I think it really just helped me express myself in a way that I never had before mm -hmm. and realizing that I could be great at something and I didn't have to be scared and I could I could do great things and be proud of that and be confident in that really, really helped me just as a person. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really know how to be confident because I'm still struggling in that area, but I think every day you have to place people around you that love and support you and also just just know in yourself that um that you're going to get to the place you want to be at and the only person who's going to really really stop you is yourself mm, yes that that was a word girl to be so young that was a that was a message <laughs> um what is a behind the scenes story that you can tell us uh, from filming High School Musical, the series? Oh my goodness. Um, behind the scenes. Well, we constantly, like when we're, when we're not filming, we're in this little room, all of us together, and we call it like the green room or just the waiting room. Mm -hmm. And you would think that we are our characters because, or like we're like totally musical theater kids yeah. because all we do is just sing and there's always music. There's like pianos and guitars laying, laying all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just singing and having so much fun. And it, and it seems almost like too good to be true most of the right. time. It's like, why do they love each other so much but we do we just like we love being around each other and I love listening to all of them act and, and and sing and just do what they're great at because it's so inspiring so I don't know if I can think of any specific time but whenever we're all together and just kind of jamming out or just even sitting next to each other silently it's just so so nice Mm -hmm. What kind of songs are you guys singing? Is it is it like musical songs or? Yeah, well, you, whenever they're singing like musical theater songs, mm -hmm. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta peace out because <laughs> I am literally not a musical theater kid at all. I uh -huh. did half of a show of Willy Wonka and then I got sick the second half. So <laughs> that was all of my musical theater experience. Mm -hmm. um, but they're great at that. I, I love singing any of the the songs that they end up singing, whether that's like Frank Sinatra or Miley Cyrus, it really varies, but we all kind of know the same music. Nice. I love that. I love that. Um, is there anybody who's like a jokester or a prankster on set that's always getting into some type of mischief? Yes, I think that'd be Matt or Josh. They <laughs> both love to scare people i actually love to scare matt and all the rest of the people um on the show i actually made this little video for everybody when we um were starting to film season two and there's just this little collage of clips of all of us screaming or me scaring somebody <laughs> and we're just always screaming for some reason but i definitely think josh and matt are like the all-time pranksters Okay, okay. So we'll let them have that title. Yeah. <laughs> um, everybody is so ready for season two and so excited. I don't want to, you know, spoil or give away anything, but maybe what is one word that you would use to describe season two? Mm, say bigger, definitely bigger. Okay. I, okay. I, yeah, going into the second season, I was just like, how is Tim, our showrunner and writer and executive producer, how is he going to top the first season? Mm -hmm. it's, it was already so great and it was so fresh and so new. Yeah. And he has found a way, along with all the other writers, to just make this season bigger and more exciting, more drama, more characters. Um, so I think it's just more, it's better, it's bigger. Okay, 
All right. Well, we'll be looking out for that. And what is your favorite high school musical song? <laughs> Um, so many. I literally could <laughs> recite all of them at the top of my head, but probably Fabulous. I always say that. It's just so, so good. I love Fabulous. I used to recreate it when I was six years old, and I would make my city, my sister film me, and I was just such a drama queen, but I loved it, and I, I would do anything to sing that. How ironic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so besides, you know, the second season of High School Musical, um, and I know we're in quarantine and everything's kind of shut down or delayed right now, but do you have any hopes or plans for the future on what you would maybe want to do? Past High School Musical? Yeah, past High School Musical. Yeah, I mean, I would love to continue to venture out into singing and, and really grow that um, part of myself and part of my career. Um, but also acting, that is really my main passion right now. And I want to keep um, growing in that, that era. And I, I think really being able to... Um, to grow while on set has been such an amazing thing for me because I was still really new to acting when I first booked Andy Mac mm -hmm. and I grew so, so much from that and same with a high school musical. So I'd love to continue being on set, keep learning, um, and hopefully start shadowing for directors and producers. Cause I think that would be a really great thing to not just be on camera, but also be behind the scenes and learn in that department as well. Yeah, that would be, I could see that. I could definitely see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely the bossy type, so I would love directing. <laughs> oh, I love it. And um, just for Gina, I feel like uh, because she is like a new character uh, to the series, she brings something exciting and new. What would you say are some similarities between you two? Because we already know the differences. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's certainly a lot of differences. I think similarities would be we both are pretty competitive um, and passionate. I definitely see that Gina has such a strong passion for what she does and performing. And I definitely do, too. Um, she loves fashion. I love fashion. Um, and... I, I think for for everybody that can relate with Gina in the sense that we feel as though we have to kind of be perfect and put on this persona that we are. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I am constantly trying to to grow out of and, and keep always reassuring myself that I don't need to be perfect, that everyone has their imperfections and that's all right. And I think Gina definitely learns that throughout the first season. And a lot of people can definitely relate to her in that way. Yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so much, Sophia. It was so thank good talking you. to you today. It was so I'm nice such talking a fan to you. of the show, you. so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> excited I get to talk to her today. Thank um, you. Is there anything else that you want to share with the lovely fans that are watching today that uh, have been commenting this whole time that they love you? <laughs> they thank can't wait you. for to you. Yeah, I love you guys, too. Thank you always for all the support. I'm so excited for you guys to see season two, especially once the bus. Where is the bus? You said we was mine. Where is the bus? <laughs>